it appears there was some disbelief regarding my use of the term ruthless cosmopolitans the other day where I contended that it was lifted from the era of Stalinist purges in the USSR. Just to show it really was, have a look at this nice article on the screen here. This is from the European Review of History, and this is from volume 23, 2016, issue 5 to 6. And don't worry, there'll be a link at the bottom of my video. And let's have a look at the title of Ruthless Cosmopolitans, German Jewish Writers Confront the Stalinist and Nationalist Socialist Atrocities. So, I've got a question for one particular historian who claims to debunk things. Yes, that's you, Mr. Simon Webb. Knowing that the term originates from the USSR, why are you repurposing a term that was used to other Jews during purges of them to refer to people like Suella Braveman? Answer in your own time, if you can. I'm a bit confused about this one and finding the circle rather hard to square. Perhaps you can, with your great wit and your great disingenuity and your great ability to evade any question and to make any answer to any question seem like a nailing jelly to walls. Let's have a look at the abstract. This article examines the impact of the Stalinist persecution of Jews as ruthless cosmopolitans on the Jewish involvement with leftist ideas. In interwar Germany and Austria, Jewish intellectuals played a disproportionate role in promoting both cosmopolitanist and leftist ideals. While belonging mostly to the bourgeoisie spectrum, many harboured close sympathies with the young Soviet Union, whose imperative of communist internationalism seemed to chime closely with their own cosmopolitanist sentiments. This dream was chattered in the Stalinist purge of the 1930s and 50s in particular, Mr. Webb, you must be well aware of what this term was used for originally, as you've talked of refuseniks in your own videos in the past. You couldn't know what they were without knowing what this term was and having encountered it. You have deliberately repurposed language designed to suggest people of a foreign background are inherently disloyal and start applying that to people like Suella Braverham. Why, is my question. Give me a good reason, or explain. Perhaps my intellect is not... <sighs> capable of understanding the hidden reasons why you've done this, the subtle nuances. Please feel free to explain. Let me continue with the abstract. The author studies the novels by three German-speaking writers, and you can have to excuse my awful German pronunciation at this point, Alex Ruhl, Jarcel's The Break, Arthur Kostler's Darkness at Noon, and Menes Berber's Like a Tear in the Ocean, which were written in close proximity to the Starless Crimes. She argues that these novels offer a unique insight into the seemingly impossible schism that leftist Jews faced in confronting the Stalinist crimes. In doing so, these novels enabled us to trace the Jewish leftist predicament that both sustained the socialist communist project and ultimately called for its critical interrogation. It's your choice, Mr. Webb, if you want to respond to this and explain why you're using language that was used in one of the most large-scale persecution of the Jews in human history and why you're now reapplying that in a British context to, to British politicians. It does seem to be a, a beg, a, beg the question of what you're seeking to obtain or imply by doing so.